Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's talk about Time Machine Local Snapshots. So Local Snapshots for Time Machine is a special feature of Lion and only applies to portable Macs, MacBooks, MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs. And if you're using Time Machine to back up to an external drive or to Time Capsule, then what happens is when you're not connected to that drive, you're still going to save your hourly backups, the changes, the files that have changed to a local partition on your drive. That way, if you accidentally delete a file or want to revert to a file that you had yesterday or just a few hours ago, you can do so even if you're not connected to your time machine backup. It doesn't back up everything like a regular time machine backup would. It just backs up the files that have changed since the last time you did a major backup to your external drive. Let me show you. So here's my MacBook Air. If I go up to the top of the screen and I click on the time machine icon, I could see that the backup hasn't been performed for a while. It says September 10th. That was several days ago. Um, it says backup delayed. Uh, and it'll tell me that it's because the device, the external drive in this case, it isn't connected. Uh, let me enter Time Machine anyway and take a look here. And it'll go to just a folder, my desktop folder in this case. Uh, now on the right I see all the different times I can jump back to. Even though that external drive isn't attached, I can still jump back to one of these because I have a local snapshot of it. So let me jump back to earlier today and I can see that there are actually a couple of folders there on my desktop that aren't present now. And I can actually dig into those and recover something. Now you may notice if you go into your system preferences, go into Time Machine, you'll see this section right here that talks about uh, Time Machines keeps local snapshots as space permits. So you won't see this if for some reason you're not keeping local snapshots. Like for instance if it's not a portable Mac, if it's a desktop Mac, that won't appear. Now another thing to keep in mind is local snapshots are very silent. You don't see the time machine is working. It doesn't show that it's backing something up. It doesn't record that the last backup was on a certain time if it's a local snapshot, only if it's the actual full backup to an external drive. So you may not even know that this is happening. Now I've just attached the external drive that, where I do my time machine backups. And it hasn't started a backup yet but I'm going to jump into Time Machine now and I'm going to see something a little different. Looks like before, but on the right you notice I've got some times here in pink and some that are in gray. The pink ones here represent full Time Machine backups that are on the external drive and the gray ones represent local snapshots that are in between those times. So basically what Time Machine Local Snapshots is doing is it's trying to use the unused space on your drive in a smart way. So yes, it's going to take up extra space in your drive, but only if you've got that extra space. So if you're short on drive space, it's not going to perform the local snapshots. Furthermore, if you start to run short on space, it's going to be removing local snapshots. Matter of fact, it's always kind of condensing them, right? It's going to save hourly ones for today, but then eventually it's going to combine them into dailies, weeklies, and monthlies, just like regular time machine. And as you run out of space, it's going to get rid of them. Matter of fact, if you run really low on space, it may stop using local snapshots altogether. So this means that you can't monitor your hard drive space too closely when you're using local snapshots. For instance, say you have a 10 gig file, really large video file. Well, that's going to get backed up to local snapshots so you have a second copy of that 10 gig file you don't even know about. So it's 20 gigs of space and as long as you have plenty of space that's fine. Delete the file and now you've freed up 10 gigs of space but the local snapshot version is still there. Of course it's got to be there because it's there in case you accidentally deleted that 10 gig file and want to recover from it. Then Later on, when it gets too old, it's removed from local snapshots. That means suddenly you get 10 gigs of space back on your hard drive, the second copy of that file that local snapshots was keeping. You can see exactly how much space is being used by going to About This Mac, More Info, and then if you click on Storage, you'll see this chart here. And one of the pieces of this chart is the little purple backups. That's your local snapshots. In addition, you can even see where your local snapshots are kept. So in the finder you want to go and you can't actually see this volume unless you go to folder and you decide to go to slash volumes like that. And what will happen is it will bring up the volumes connected which is your Macintosh hard drive and lo and behold another partition called mobile backups. If you look in there you'll see a backups file. Of course you shouldn't 
mess with that. You should just leave it as is, but it's interesting to know where it's keeping it. Now you can also disable local snapshots if you really want to. For some people that may do video editing, may suddenly have large files appear and then disappear from the drive, you may want to do this. Um, the way to do it is in terminal is use this command here um, and you can use enable local to turn them back on. Now when you disable uh, Time Machine Local Snapshots it's not going to get rid of them all immediately. It will actually it may take some time to go through and clean up the local snapshot so don't expect to see the space return that second. Also note that if you look at the file space available in the Finder, the amount available on your local drive, it won't take these backups into account. That's because they are free space and can be reclaimed by the system if needed. So if you have say 10 gigs of local snapshots uh, on your drive with 90 gigs remaining it will show up in the Finder as you have 100 gigs of free space. And local snapshots also work for external drives. So if you carry a portable external drive with you and you're using that while on the go, it's going to store a local snapshot of files that have changed on that external drive. It won't do it in the same way with a partition. It actually creates a folder for that, but it is done. So that's a look at local snapshots. Now a lot of people may feel that right away they want to just turn this off. And I really recommend against that. And unless you're having some sort of hard drive issues or something, I would just leave this on. It's really good use of that unused disk space on your drive. And if you're short on space, it's not going to get in the way. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category. Now you may notice if you go into your System Preferences, go into Time Machine, you'll see this section right here that talks about uh, Time Machines keeps local snapshots as space permits. So you won't see this if for some reason you're not keeping local snapshots. Like for instance if it's not a portable Mac, if it's a desktop Mac that won't appear.